I like working with metal for a lot of reasons. I think the main thing I like about working with steel is because it doesn't really have any intrinsic value itself. A lot of the pieces that I make, I get my metal out of the scrapyard. So it's a lot of times I make things out of materials that other people have thrown away. I can take something that somebody else has seen as garbage and with my skills and my vision, I can make it something that is desirable and valuable to somebody. I really like that a lot. It's really important to me to do something original. And I think it's so cool that original things can be made with these techniques that I use that are so ancient. When Elizabeth Brim hangs her work in shows and galleries, it almost defies belief that it's made from hard, cold steel. There's a true element of surprise in her sculptures, in the texture she's able to create, and the fluid sense of motion. Her themes are broad, but there's a definite strong female perspective in her work. Elizabeth has done innovative work over the course of her career, most notably techniques for inflating welded steel with high pressure air to make objects like this pillow. Every year, she teaches classes and conducts workshops for artists wanting to apply her inflation methods to their own work. Her work is often influenced by the wonder and beauty of the natural world around her. Like this rhododendron chandelier she made for a private collector. It seems like if people have to engage their imagination to get over that gap of like, you know, this is a piece of iron, but it's a flower. I kind of feel like that if they have to engage their imaginations to complete the process, then they feel more connected with the piece. When you heat the metal up, it bends very easily and it can become very fluid and it's a whole lot like clay when it's hot. You just can't touch it with your fingers, you hit it with a hammer. My first blacksmithing teacher, Peter Hapney, said, now you can do this. He said, you don't need brute strength to be a blacksmith. What you need is finesse. He said, if you need brute strength, hire a brute. <laughs> I do remember one time this guy said to me, he picked up this big hammer and he said, this is the hammer I use, Elizabeth. What kind of hammer do you use? And I was like, whatever one I need. <laughs> I mean, there's no sense in being macho about it. I think a lot of times when people look at my work, they can see how much fun I had making it. And that maybe kind of transfers into peace and transfers into to them. When I found blacksmithing, you're, you move around. And I do really like the physicality of it. I like kind of the, the struggle to make something that is so hard to look soft. I like going into a zone when I can, but it depends on what I'm making. If I'm making, um, say, a leaf or something that I've made a lot before, I can just go on autopilot and then um, make a bunch of them at the same time, and that's really fun. But if it's something that I've never made before, then I'm having to make decisions and see, well, this was, a, this was not a good idea, you know, or I'm gonna have to start over and have, think of something different to do next time. Anything can be fixed, and if you know that anything can be fixed, then that gives you a lot of freedom.
I like to take a bunch of pieces and put it together to make one bigger piece. That's how that flower came together with all those little parts that were forged and then put together and then forge welded together to make one big flower. And a rhododendron chandelier too were all these tapers that I made that then were forge welded together to make a branch with a texture on it. And I really like to do that in my work, to use traditional blacksmithing techniques, but to make these non-traditional images that are uh, feminine because, because that's what I like. <laughs> the forge heats up the metal. This is a coal forge that I use, and it has air coming through the bottom of it that makes the hot coal get get really hot and it's it's around 2,000 degrees and in, in there or hotter when the metal is hot it's really malleable and so that makes me able to form it you do different things to your metal when it's at different temperatures when it's at that screaming white hot you can really forge it out and you can really move a lot of the metal and then as it gets cooler Maybe you don't want to move so much metal, but you want to refine the surface a little bit. So you do different things at different temperatures. The power hammer helps me draw out things, widen things, um, but I don't use the power hammer as much as a lot of other blacksmiths do. This power hammer came out of a mill in Columbus, Georgia was built in 1909 and I like old tools because you just have the history of all the other people who've worked on them before you and it's kind of mysterious and interesting. The wire brush removes the scale that builds up on the surface. When the metal is hot and you bring it out, the oxygen gets to it and it makes this flaky scale that comes off and so you brush the scale off. Otherwise, when you hit the metal against the anvil, the scale is harder than the hot metal and it will make an impression. Well, that bucket has muriatic acid in it. When you put your steel down in there, it will take all the scale off of it. And that was a flower that I had made that had a lot of borax on it for flux because it was forge welded together. And so it gets really crusty and nasty. And so I put it down in the bucket and the muriatic acid takes all the crust and borax and uh, scale and stuff off of it and brings it back down to clean metal. I love those flowers because they have talons. <laughs> <laughs> Real flowers are so temporary and, and die and go away so quickly, but these flowers are there to stay. <laughs>
I live pretty well, but I don't have everything that I want. <laughs> I have pretty much everything that I need. You have to really love it and be willing to work really hard in order to be a artist blacksmith. I don't do too many things on purpose. <laughs> things just kind of happen. <laughs>